Hello. Um, so I just uh, I thought I'd do a little program on this. I'm a little bit a little bit mildly proud of uh, this whole program. Kicked my ass for a while. Um, pretty much all it is 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 uh, um, as you can kind of see, it's it does fractals. Well, it does a fractal right now, and it also I added a little functionality, so you can. In addition to you know seeing the fractal, you can also scroll and zoom and stuff. Um, yeah, this stuff was fun. It was hard, but it was. It was I honestly enjoyed it. It was cool. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's just get around to running it. Um, as you can see, it handles this little circular fractal pattern. Um, yeah. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. just like uh, like Google Maps or something when you uh, use a little scroll wheel and you can wherever your mouse is hovering over it will scroll into so like if I scroll into over here it'll scroll into over here if I scroll into over here it'll scroll into over there um, yeah the reason it's flickering so bad is because it's uh, it's rendering it there's a lot of there's a crap ton of circles um, of all these little circles, I could pr again. I well, not really again, but I could probably make it render more, like a more detailed fractal down to a uh, so it theoretically continue infinitely, but I it really wouldn't. I don't have the processing power for that. Um, you know, that's actually I should try that out sometime, seeing if I can uh, make something that would render infinitely. It wouldn't really. It probably wouldn't be able to store it, but it would use a. Could possibly use a circle as a previous point of reference in the frame or something, and just dump the rest of them. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, as you can see, that it renders clockwise. I guess. Um, the very first circle that is rendered would be well. To, it would really, honestly it would be this one, but the first smallest circle that would be rendered would be all the way over here, that little one right there. Um, that's just because of the way things are uh, constructed and then printed. Um, and then on the other hand, we have the last one that is printed, which would be. Yeah, it would be this one. Da, 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 da. That's why this one is so much more flickery, I guess. Flickers a lot more than that side, as you can you can visibly tell that that side kind of disappears for a certain period of time. Um, yeah, I can I can make it actually render a higher, well, more a higher depth of uh, pixels if I just go in and kind of edit that. Um, let's see, let's do. 13? Uh, that seems high, whatever. We'll just run it once. But yeah. Um, oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Let me just do something real quick. Da, 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 da. Where's the render circle? Draw circle. There it is. Just comment this little if statement out. Um, that pretty much prevents it from trying to draw circles if they're way too small to be rendered. Um, that helps pull off some of the uh, required processing power because then it wouldn't be trying to render circles that you can't even see. Um, as you can tell, it's going a lot slower now. It's actually going through and rendering it. You can visibly see each frame being kind of put together. Um, yeah, it's just because there's so many circles it needs to work on. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty neat little thing. I like it. It looks pretty and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's not much to it. But it was it was definitely a little bit of fun. Um, yeah, yeah. After a certain, I mean, that little that little if statement helps pull off a lot of um, strain. But I mean, honestly, there's it's gonna. I'm gonna need to create a more efficient. Um, the actual part that creates the fractile and 
maybe and then renders it somehow maybe incorporating them kind of meshing them better together um, I mean it would be less reusable code wise but it would be uh, more efficient if I actually rendered only the stuff in like a certain viewpoint instead of just rendering the whole fractal and then um, well computing the whole fractal and then rendering it um, and then deciding what to render because I mean you're gonna end up no matter what you do you're gonna have to you're gonna have to compute that number of uh, fractals unless you do some smart um, way I guess that would ignore stuff that would be outside of um, outside of your viewport um, but yeah that's that's really about all is that's not much to it it's pretty neat